Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be unboxing the Game Awards Indie Game of the Year, Sea of Stars on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is the imported Asian version, but it does have full English on the cartridge, and you can play it on your Switch from anywhere in the world. There is supposed to be another physical version of the game that's going to be released to Western audiences, however that will be from IM8-bit, and we still don't know exactly what's going to be included in that physical edition. And I've got to let you know, the Asian version, although we haven't unboxed it yet, does have quite a few little goodies. And I'm super excited to unbox this one today because it's my favorite physical pickup of the last six months. And I've got to say, over the last year, the only one I can think topping it is the collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. Now, if ever you want to pick up a copy of the game for yourself, you can always use my Play Asia affiliate link that will be in the description of the video down below and the top pinned comment. Oh, and while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Now let's start by taking off the plastic wrap to reduce the glare and then we'll take a look at the box art. I've got to say this is one of the best cover arts on a game that I've seen in quite a while. Side of the box, just simply the title of the game. And on the back, once again, we've got another little bit of beautiful cover art. Top and bottom, we've just got the title once again. Now, let's crack it open and see what's inside. Now, first of all, we've got an absolutely beautiful sticker sheet. Now, I do think there's a second sheet behind this one, so let's open it up and take a look. And yes, we've got two absolutely beautiful sticker sheets, one that matches the art style of the cover art, the other one in absolutely beautiful pixel art. I love this. I don't actually think I'm going to stick them anywhere. They're probably going to go right back into the box, but this is a great little addition. Now, next, we've got the original soundtrack for the game on CD. And let's open this one up and take a look if we have any goodies inside. Now let's crack it open. And, oh, I think we have, yes, we have a two CD set with once again some beautiful artwork on each and some beautiful artwork on the inside of the covers. Personally, although a lot of games are now including digital soundtracks, I still love having physical media. I still do have some CD playing devices and this will definitely be one I'll be listening to even when I'm not playing the actual game. Now last, but definitely not least, let's open up the actual game case. Now let's crack her open and see if we have any last minute surprises. And no, a simple cartridge. You know what? I wonder if we could put the stickers in here. Nope, they are a little bit too wide. Unfortunately not, but they have a decent place in the cardboard box. Lastly, let's take a little close-up at the cartridge. Simple artwork on the front, but you know what? We don't spend a lot of time looking at the cartridge, so that is perfectly fine. So here we have everything that came with this physical edition of Sea of Stars, and you know what? For something that costs around 40 US dollars, I think you're getting a pretty nice package here. And with this one winning Indie Game of the Year, I do think a lot of people are going to be hunting for physical copies. I wouldn't wait too long to pull the trigger on this one. So on the way out, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do want to pick up a copy of the game for yourself, use the affiliate link just below.